two Packers fans on the show here. They bleed the green and gold. Tori and uh, White here. But Combs sat here and said that the Bears made an offer for Sam Darnold. It turns out that they did not. The only two other teams that made an offer for Sam Darnold was the 49ers and the Washington football team. So, therefore, guys, the Chicago Bears think they have their man. They think Andy Dalton is their man moving forward. Of course they do. Why? I'm going to kick it to you first because, you you, you, you know, you are just on here in the second half of the show. So, I, so I, I really want you to get your opinion in on this. What are your thoughts about the Bears not even pursuing Sam Darnold after rumors come out said 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 they did? Well, let me grab my confetti gun real quick. Uh, no, no, I'm, I mean it, it's great. I mean, you know, now we have to deal with Andy Dalton, Kirk Cousins, and Jared Goff. I, it's amazing. I, I love it. I love every second of it. You know, because I th- I think that Sam Darnold is a really good quarterback. I know that he's got some picks that doesn't look pretty on the stat sheet, but he also had Adam Gase that was calling his plays. So I mean, I. It, it evens itself out, and he's got no offensive line. I could basically go up there and play some offensive line for him last year. So, I mean, it, it, I, I think it's a good – I think it's a great thing for the Packers. I think it's a great thing for the Vikings, and it's a great thing for the Lions. We get to face Andy Dalton now tw- twice a year, all of us do. You know, essentially it's like we get, uh, you know, three bye weeks. We get one bye week that's real, and then two bye weeks when we play the Bears. I, that's about how it always is, but, you know, I mean – why would you not pursue a young quarterback who has plenty of potential, who has made great throws? I saw a video of the Jets watching Zach Wilson's. Now, I know they didn't go to his workout. They just watched it or whatever because um, they were at Mac Jones's, I believe. But the Jets were watching his, Zach Wilson's um, uh, workout, his pro day workout, and watching some of the throws that he made. And they were like, Wow, like that was a good throw. And then it flipped and it showed Sam Darnold making the exact same throws in a game situation with a defense coming at him, right. with a cornerback guarding his wide receivers, with safeties over top, with a defensive line running in his face and linebackers covering over the middle, and with an offensive line that sucked. I, it's the same throws, but in an actual NFL game, Sam Darnold made every single one that Zach Wilson made. I'm not taking anything away from Zach Wilson either. I, I want to make that clear too. I think but Zach Wilson's a great prospect. I, I think Zach Wilson could possibly be the best quarterback in this draft. But, you know. Zach Wilson I, is Ryan Leaf 2.0. Oh, come on now. R- Ryan Leaf had way more hype coming in uh, uh, over him. Z- Zach Wilson kind of really, like, he was on the boards and stuff, but just kind of snuck in out of nowhere to the top. Like, he was always on the big boards, like, hey, you know, this is a quarterback that will be taken in the first three rounds. But he he made some really good plays and showed some tremendous football IQ, um, you know, and, and I know he didn't play the defenses that say Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields did. Of course. I mean, they, they play the best talent in, at the college level in the world. I mean, it's not even close. So I, I get that, but you know, if a quarterback makes a good throw, a quarterback makes a good throw. It doesn't matter what his defense is. If you could put it between two defenders, you could put it between two defenders. If you could put it over top of a defender at the perfect time and get it right in the back corner of the end zone, you know, Zach, Zach can make those throws. Um, and, and like I said, I'm not trying to take away anything from Zach, but it's just funny to me that the jets, you know, weren't at, uh, you know, keeping Sam Darnold when he can do the exact same things and same with the bears, the bears have seen it. We've all seen the game film. Sam Darnold's a good quarterback. And I, and I think that the Panthers came away with a really good steal out of this. They gave up a toaster, a can of cheese and some chef boy RD pretty much for him. Uh, to get a quarterback that was drafted just a few years ago what, with the third overall pick, second overall pick, third. a top three guy, you know, out of USC. So football IQ is way up there. He's still super young, got a lot to learn. He's got two wide receiver weapons now, uh, and they still got that high round pick. So maybe they bring in a guy like Kyle Pitts or one some more off the line help. Is one he had already. Do what? One of his receiving weapons that he's got in Carolina is what he had already in Robbie. Yeah, Rob, Robbie Anderson. Yeah, and remember how great he was with Robbie? No. Robbie was a <laughs> weapon whenever Sam was throwing to him two two years ago. Not this year, of course, because you know Robbie wasn't with him this year. But two years ago, Robbie Anderson and Sam Darnold, you can watch the film on that. They connected very well. So it's it's going to be nice to see them play as, uh, uh, well together, as well as DJ Moore is a really good deep threat um, that can hit you and burn you on the side if you're paying too much attention to Robbie Anderson. So 
I, I, I think the Panthers really came away with the steal. So why before I let Tori take over here and kind of basically re, 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 regurgitate everything that you said, because you guys are both on cloud nine right now with Andy Dalton, which I think Andy Dalton is a pretty good quarterback in the NFL top 15, and I'm going to stick <laughs> stick by that until the Bears do prove That's me wrong. That's just because gingers stick together. Yeah, with that <laughs> with with that being said, a couple things stood out to 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 me uh, that you said there, Wyatt is like is like why didn't the Bears go after a young quarterback and th- th- that that they could have had for cheap? They had a young quarterback on the roster by the name of Mitchell Trubisky that led them to the playoffs not once but twice. But they gave up on him. They they're like like they're like no. You, you need to go elsewhere. Basically, why would they give up on – or, like, they gave up on Mitchell Trubisky to go after Sam Darnold, which was basically in a worse sit- situation. Where than, is Mitchell like Trubisky right now? I don't think he signed, signed with anybody. He's, he, he's, he's the Bills. some wings in Buffalo. Yeah, he, he's a backup oh, yeah, in right. Buffalo. W- 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 See, w- he's not, is... not even a starting quarterback. Sam Darnold is ten times the quarterback that Mitch Trubisky Okay, is. do you know who else was a uh, starting quarterback this year that was a backup the previous year? Teddy Bridgewater. Who? He went to New New he went to New Orleans was a backup to Drew Brees and then signed a pretty good deal to but go to Carolina. It's, it's, a, a, total, it's a totally that, though. different situation. He was coming yeah. off of injury. Okay, but he was still he was still he was still a backup. Leg. He was, he was to chop his leg off. That, he he was still a backup though. I mean like some like he was sometimes not a backup. Some, he was incredible in Minnesota. I'm not saying I'm not saying that like like I think he was a probably a top ten quarterback when he was healthy his f- first four or five years in the in the NFL. But what I'm saying was, come yes, I know he came off that injury, but he was a backup to Drew Brees. Sometimes being a backup humbles you and makes you work harder to get to that next level. Teddy 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 Bridgewater led a pretty bad Carolina team to five or six wins this last season, minus Christian McCaffrey, minus Luke Keatley because he was retired. Uh, they had a couple receivers go down as well. He did good things there, so maybe this is what Mitchell Trubisky needs to be a backup. Just, just, uh, just, just take it, just soak it in, you know. And then, you know, maybe he can go to uh, Dallas and do well. I don't know. Tori, what are your thoughts about the? Uh, what are your thoughts about the uh, Bears basically spreading these rumors that weren't true about going after Sam? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm about to go Combs here. <laughs> Freaking Virginia McCaskey and Ryan Peace. You never do nothing right for the Chicago Bears. The Bears. The Bears. For, Virginia. Virginia. I'm coming for you, Virginia. No. So so, <laughs> I, I give me my deep dish pizza. So I don't. I don't. I don't blame them for not going after him. Um, one, they need all the draft capital they can get. They're going to enter enter a rebuild here real soon. So, um, I why why put the money into it? You know, let's sign it. Let's sign a bargain basement deal like Andy Dalton and go four and twelve, so we can get a top ten pick next year. Uh, they're they're gonna they're looking already at probably the next couple of quarterback classes. Andy Dalton obviously isn't the long term answer there. They what they are going to want is they're going to want somebody that they can get on that rookie deal, play pay him cheap. So if he works out, great. We'll deal with it five years down the road. If he doesn't work out, we're going to Trubisky him too. Well, first things first is obviously Andy Dalton is not the long term answer. He's like thirty six or thirty seven years years like years old. He has a year, maybe a year left, half left in his NFL career. Uh, but with that being said, I pulled up the Chicago Bears twenty one. 2021 list of opponents here. I I want to ask you guys this question because you know you said four and thirteen to Tory. Uh, why you're like they, they aren't going to win a win a game at all? And I and I think they're probably go eight nine nine and eight type of situation here. I so, think they'll be a six seven win team. Okay, so let's go ahead and put your theories to thought here. So they played the Detroit Lions twice. Like obviously, do you have them losing both those games or winning both those games? I think they split one and one. They split the Lions for whatever reason. Uh, they could be terrible, except for like the year that they went zero and sixteen. But they always play Chicago and Minnesota super tough. They play Green Bay tough too, man. Okay, so no, what about the Packers? Do they split, win, or lose? They lose both. They lose. They lose both of those. Okay, so right now you guys are both sitting at one wins. What about the Minnesota Vikings? 
Lose they both. lose both of those. Wow, you guys have them winning one division game. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. That's absolutely crazy. Okay, so now you're looking at outer outer division opponents here. Arizona Cardinals. L lose. San Francisco 49ers. Lose. These are all home yeah, games. Lose. By the way, these 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 names, these games that I'm giving you right now are, are all home games. So Baltimore Ravens. Lose. lose. Bagels. Lose. Easy. Win. Oh. Tie. Tie. I'm taking a tie. <laughs> taking a tie. <laughs> Giants. The Bengals are the king. Bengals are the king of the tie game. Um Giants. 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 I think it's an L. I think the Giants are going to be a better yeah, team they are. than anybody Giants expects this year. Now these are all road games. Cleveland Browns. L. L. Rams. L. L. Pittsburgh Steelers. L. L. Seahawks. L. Bucks. L. L. Raiders. W. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt win. So yeah, there's I'll give them three w, wins man. and one win. Tori, you are a hater right now. Giving the Bears one win, like you are absolutely crazy for that. Sorry, you you had them doing two wins. I'm sorry, because you had them beating the Lions and then the Raiders. That was 17 games and, and a tie, and I gave him a tie. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yep, seventeen games right there. So why you had them going three and three and fourteen? Yeah. Probably. So I have the, them. I, I mean, in honesty, yeah, they'll probably win six games. I'm sure they'll get away two or three dumb wins. But I have them sweeping the Lions, <clears throat> sweeping the Vikings, splitting with the Packers. Right there is four wins. Or sorry, five, <sighs> five, You're on five, crack. five. You I'm are out of your mind. Right there. Out of your they, mind. They are going to beat the 49ers at at home. They're going to beat the Bengals at home. They're going to beat the Giants at home. They're going to go to Cleveland and win that game as well. And then they lose the rest of the games on the road because their road schedule is pretty, pretty. Pretty brutal, let's be honest. Right there's nine wins. Your take on that was pretty brutal. <laughs> right. It, it, did Kentucky become like the meth capital of the world? Because I'm pretty sure you're smoking it. Actually, the meth capital of the world is in Scottsbrook, Indiana, which is right up the road. It is. <laughs> Proud me. It's true. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fun fact. So, I don't know, guys. But, like, this whole Bears thing, rumors, sitting that they, they were going after Sam Darnold, and they, like, I... Dad, Dad at Combs said they even place it like place an offer for him, and yeah, not true at all. Man, our nation. Thank you for checking out that clip. If you're interested in watching the full show, the link is in the description. Click on it, hit that like button, share it with a couple friends, and as always, Man, our nation, rise up. <laughs>